What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online. So, I, uh, as you can see, I killed 39 of the skeletons of the 50 we needed to kill because after last episode, I decided to respec my skills. And uh, so, I got a little bit of a, I got a little bit of a setup here now. We'll go over that and. Um, We'll finish up the rest of the, the skeletons. Um, I did get a little bit of a different... Um, here is my gear now. We have plus 15 Jubray Talisman of Temptation. Uh, we still have that. We still have all the bear stuff. I also Or the Zareth stuff. I also got the Zareth armor, which was just a little bit better armor. Not crazy better, but it was better enough that it I, I got it. Um, we still have the Mark of Shadow and the Belt of Schultz the Gladiator. Still have the Asula's Crimson Ring and the Kaya Necklace, but I did get these uh, Treant Spirits Whisper Earrings. They're five overall, and so I was able to pick them up. So we have 123 AP, 169 DP. Gonna need to get those up, but uh, here is the new so skill, so to say, skill loadout. So I have remapped to up four skills. Well... There should have been... Yeah, okay. So there's four skills here. I don't know why they were disappeared. We have Bloody Calamity, and we have Shadow Eruption. Um, those are the two skills that are actually usable that I'll flick to, but they have cooldowns. That's why I'm not really too concerned. Uh, the flip down is the one I'll use the most because it's only a seven-second recharge. We also have Shield of Darkness here, uh, which is going to give me... I believe it's like 30 extra DP. How much is it? 13 but what well, actually it's only 13 okay well it's 13 extra defense points so it brings i thought it was higher but it brings our defense points up to 7 or 82 so uh not not too bad not too great but not too bad and then we also have dark trade one uh which is what i'll be uh equipping as well i need to remember to equip that every 30 seconds or so um where is that one? Dark Trade 1. Consumes HP uh, for 10% to create 10 Fragments of Darkness. And the real reason I create the Fragments of Darkness is to use Left Bumper, uh, which I forget the name of the skill, but um, uh, Left Bumper is Shards of Darkness. It increases AP for 20 seconds upon using 3 Shards. And so this right here, Dark Trade, will recuperate Shards for me along the way as I continue to use left bumper to increase my attack points. Um, something else that I'm going to be using now is Signs of Agony. Uh, it's a, I don't know, it's not really an AoE attack, but it's it's a multi-target attack. Hits up to seven targets, and it's a damage over time attack. Um, it inflicts uh, 30 points of damage every three seconds for 27 seconds. It is back in X. Also going to be incorporating the kicks and X a little bit more into my fighting. I'm still a little bit clunky with overall using all of this, but I'm hoping, you know, uh, after a little bit more practice. I haven't practiced too much with it. Just just a little bit um, will get better. The Bloody Calamity is the big attack that I uh, want to use. It's the heavy hitter. Shadow Eruption is good, but it's kind of just an attack to... Uh, to use essentially I actually have the hold on i have enough for dark trade too i actually didn't know i had enough for dark trade too so that's good um well how much is dark trade three dark trade three is 14 skill points so i need three more skill points okay i'll get those i'll get those in no time um and we can pick up dark trade three but i picked up some other stuff that i definitely needed and that's why dark trade three is not i don't need the 30 for the 30 um shards of darkness right now fragments of darkness um i also thought about shard explosion probably should probably should use it but i don't um i just haven't gotten to mapping some of this other stuff that i probably should map um shard shard uh explosion is one of the big ones that i thought about having i just don't quite have it yet um but yeah, that that's that's essentially what I'm gonna be doing now. Uh, Shadow Eruption Four is one that um, 
uh, is the hot equipped one, but it does have a hot key, so I could always um, use it as the hot keyed uh, LB or LT and, and B and move the um, to the ring settings. We can move shard explosion. We can try that out. Let's see here. Where is it? Shard explosion down. What does shard explosion do? Okay, so it, it creates an attack in front of us and has about a 20 second cooldown. So I think I'm going to do that. So I ha so the big thing I have to do is I have to remember what buttons I need to press. So left L, L T and B is that. Back and X is that. Back and R B is my Claws of Darkness, which is my basic attack that I'm always going to do. And then I'll mix in B and X, but that's more of stuff that I want to mix in going forward later. Um, I feel like it's just, I don't know, not a little bit too much for me to remember right now, but these are the enemies I've been testing it out on, so we can get started here. I have to make sure if I want to use that, um, if I want to use that attack, I have to be... I have to be, um, I can't be aiming on the, on the directional pad at all. And like right here with the knockback, I probably should have, I probably should have used the up and the shards of right there. But it's just kind of all trial and error. I mean, I need to equip that stuff again. I guess I talk so, I, I didn't expect him to be ran out when I was talking, but did run out. It's still a little bit of a struggle with the bigger guys, but um, I do I do feel as though this did help a lot. I did level up to 53 as well, um, so I did do a little bit of leveling, but I do feel like, I mean, I still do just spam RB a lot, um, especially when it's one enemy. I mean, I'm not, I don't need to combo the one enemy. But it's a lot of, it's going to be a lot of muscle memory and just, and, ju and just fighting overall. I just need to fight more overall and use my combos and just get used to them. The only reason I'm not using Signs of Agony right now is because these guys are kind of immune to it. The big guy is immune to it, which is the guy I'd want to hit with it anyway. And so he's immune to it, so it doesn't even, I don't know. It, it's not that big of a deal. If I can... Let's see. Let me come over here and aggro some guys. And I'll show you. I'll do some signs of agony. Come on. Everybody aggro. Come here. See, they're, um, they're immune to it. So it's like, what's... I mean, you can hit them with it, but it's kind of one of those things. With, what's the actual purpose of doing this? Oh, I'm getting... Oh my gosh, I attracted the world. But you'll see a lot of immunes popping up for that. Okay, I... Okay, I got myself into a... Okay, I got stunned. I put myself in a bad spot there. got stunned trying to mess around with... <laughs> mess around with the the signs of agony i think the signs of agony will be better on on the non-skeleton enemies um i don't know if if everything's going to be slightly immune to it and you just got to hit them multiple times with it but um because i i've just tested most of this out on the skeleton enemies uh, and so i'm not too concerned uh but but i am i am liking you know getting into these combos and stuff like that i need to get better at it but uh it's a start um we may slow this series down slightly. Um, go every other day with the witch at night. Um, just because it would give me a chance to kind of practice and level up and whatnot like that. Because every day it doesn't give me a whole lot of time to sit here and, and practice. That's why I skipped yesterday's video. I'm just going to kill this one so I can get three away. Okay. Um, let me heal. Gotta remember. Oh, gotta remember to do all of this. I actually... Why is it not letting me dark trade? I don't know why it's not letting me dark trade. Okay, everybody, come here. Hello. 
I have to remember on that that I need to... I need to, um... I need to be standing still for that one attack. Oh, crap. Here we go. Here we go again, getting myself into horrible scenarios. I keep doing that. Keep doing the signs of agony. I'm gonna run back over here. Hopefully, they follow me. So I want to test something that I might. I didn't know. Okay, so that's what I. Okay, so when I do this, I'll, I'll show it in a second again. When I do this attack, I need... Oh, I messed it up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out. Get out. Get out. Just... So I'm gonna Signs Agony. Signs Agony. Get my health back. Do that. Reapply that. Reapply that. Oh, can I use... That? Okay. Oh, I can't... Oh, okay. I need to re... Okay, that's fine. I have, I have the wrong, I have the non-upgrade. So when I use this attack, I need to hit right bumper because I have the ultimate for it. So I need to remember that. Take off, use a little signs of agony. The signs of agony is good because it allows me to back off and still be dealing damage. I really like that. Get out of there. So now, in my combat arsenal, I do have mana potions because... Or magic points, whatever you want to call them. Magic point potions. I have those in the arsenal now because... I... Uh, oh crap. Got myself in a bad spot there. I need them more because I'm using attacks that actually will do some... will actually waste my MP and actually need MP to cast. Crap, I thought my attack was ready. How is it not ready? I thought that thing took like two seconds. Oh, do I not have it? There we go. have to concentrate a lot more now in order to fight, but I, I, I like it. We'll, we'll leave this area in a second because I'm, I'm going to die because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health. It's like, well, we're going to get ready to leave. Okay, we're good. We're good, though. We did complete. We completed the Relentless Dead. I need to upgrade my gear, but in order to upgrade my gear, I need a lot more money. So we've entered a awkward stage of I need money, but I don't have any money i have like 10 million in the storage which isn't enough i mean that's clearly not enough but now we can before i forget we need to where is dark trade i need dark trade 2 over there okay so yeah i need to work more on getting this into my rotation like okay so when i was backing up i should have been using this i should have been using that skill um it would have been a good pairing but that's all right uh those skeletons give me the creeps how do they move so well without muscles he <laughs> all right so time for a boss defeating these skeletons is getting us nowhere have you noticed how vengeful spirits pull together as they're feeding off of each other's hate and spite look it's like their collective consciousness has manifested itself into a physical form let's go face it head on we have a whirlpool of hate to deal with ahead of us all right so we need to defeat the skeleton king i think i want to wait this minute out for my cooldown on my shield to go away so i don't have to do that during the fight 
Because I would really vastly prefer I didn't have to buff that during the fight. Because I will definitely forget. I am going to do that so I can get my, um, get my shards. But yeah, we're going to wait out this 30 seconds here. Because I will definitely forget mid-fight to actually do that. I'm gonna move these down here. What do we got here? Zelda vendor. We have a Yuria longsword, so that's selling the marketplace. Um, you can exchange 1,000 spell necklace ornaments for a gold, but I don't have. <laughs> I have one. Um, exchange 700 of those, 600 of those. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough to exchange of any of those. Can just sell them to merchants. Okay, are we good? One second. Pop that. Inventory. Alright, here we go. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I go here. So I have a feeling this will be a diff. I, I've been struggling, so I assume this will be a little bit of a difficult boss fight. Not one. Okay, can that get off of my screen? Thank you. Eh, not too bad. Can I please? Legs. Back, back it up. Oh, I can't back up. I can't back up. Get 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 up. Use that. I need to use. I need to remember to use my dashing crow to close gaps. So a lot of the time I'm not, um, I'm not using my dashing crow to get up in the face. It's gonna back off. Oh, it still hit me. Oh, that that thing has a longer cooldown than I think. There we go. That was sloppy. That was sloppy. But it was better. I mean, I. I didn't just stand here and spam RB, but uh, that was that was a real that was real sloppy on on, on some parts. Um, I need to remember what is it? I gotta remember. No, it's not that. Hmm. Thought it was just forward RB, and it did that. Oh, I probably don't have it unlocked. Um, yeah, I don't have Russian Crow unlocked. I'm gonna unlock it because I need it. Because it's the thing I use to... Is it going to let me do it? Or is it... Oh, it's right trigger. It's forward right trigger. Maybe? Hold on. Yeah, it's forward right trigger. And it's my gap closer, so I need that. I forgot to unlock that. That's definitely definitely skill I need. So I need to save my skill points now. Um, How many skill points do I need? Because I need... I need that skill to be... I probably didn't need to get these maxed out. I mean, I maxed them out because I wanted them maxed out, but I probably didn't need it. But we should be fine. I should be able to earn more skill points. I mean, we earned three skill points from killing that boss, so we should be fine. Um, but Rushing Crow... There's only Rushing Crow 2, so I need 12 more there. And then it was Dark Trade. 12, 14... 26 so i need 20 more skill points i only need 20 more skill points nice okay i wonder what's inside the box he <laughs> he hmm. hurry up and open it seal of a black of the black sun what's this can you feel that power it's glorious i want it i must have it no get it away from me <laughs> no bring it back wait no get it out of my sight let's go see the chief of tariff she might know something about it so what was in the box oh i can still open it Ooh. Seal of the Black Sun. Okay, it's the Seal of the Black Sun. Okay. Alright, here we go. We need to return to Ahan Curis, which is... A little bit of ways. A little bit ways away. But I hope... I hope you guys think, you know, a little bit more... You know, a little bit better about my combos and how I'm doing all that. I will make a skill video... And all of that different stuff. When I'm done with the main story of this character, I, I'm hoping I can finish it before they add more stuff. Because 
there's love there's two sets of level 56 quests and i believe two sets of level 58 or it might be 54 56 either way there's four more sets of like main story main story quests but um i i want to get it done before that um we're getting close I mean, we're pretty close to finishing this. We're on reliving the darkness. I mean, there's only only so much left to do, uh, and so hopefully we can we can get this wrapped up. I'm gonna keep trying to play this as if I am strong enough. I, I do feel like I am slightly under leveled to be doing what I'm doing, not level wise, but attack and defense points. I feel like to be doing this right now, I probably should have like 140 or 150 AP and like 200 dp i felt like my dp was fine but in order to get my ap up i had to sacrifice dp and so now we're in this weird area where i just don't have enough stuff um i'm wondering are people starting to get these better items set to go it doesn't look like it there's not a crazy amount of stuff on the auction like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, this stuff down here. Is anybody getting to, like, these crazy, like, 118 million things? But it doesn't look like it. The people are selling, at least. Um, well, plus 15 Laverto is, ooh. But it's, a, like, it's 157 million. I don't have 157 million is the issue. Like, I could really use that. That would increase my thing to, like, 150. It'd be crazy good. But... I just don't have enough. This is like the end game stuff right here, right? 106, 110, yeah. But like, no one's got crazy bears even, like to 91, 95. Like, we're kind of stuck. We're kind of like capped based on. Oh, 70. Oh, 40 million would get you a Uria amulet. Hmm. Which would be 76, 81. Which does it go off of? Does it go off of, hold on, does it go off of the first number or the second number? So 58 to 123. What is that? 58 to 1, is that, that's 65? So does it go right in the middle? Does it take, give you right in the middle? 65, yeah, it gives you right in the middle. So that would mean 65, Where? what was that? That the it was like the yars or something like that what was that the urea so it would give you like 78 or 79 depending on what they considered the middle yeah 78 or 79 which would be an increase of like 13 that'd probably be the increase that i need right there that 40 million amulet that's probably the increase Uh, no, just the plus 15 bears. Amulet of Temptation. Oh, it is a plus 15 Amulet of Temptation, but it's not quite better than my weapon. Yeah, there, I guess there is one, there's a 15 ultimate, Oh, Why is it such a wide range? It's 18, so there's a 9-point difference. So it'd be 74, be a 9-point increase for 34 mil. Not bad. Hmm. Interesting. What is the attack point? Okay, the attack points tend to be relatively the same between characters. Okay, who are we supposed to talk to here? Ahan Curus, the sorceress. That seal. No, I've never seen it before. I've never seen the seal before, but I can sense an overwhelming negative energy coming from it. Just being near it is making me feel uneasy. There must be someone in our village who knows what it is. A shroud contingent has recently arrived in Tariff. Their travels take them all over the continent. They might be able to help. The ones who desire the cotton. Okay, so we need to find someone that knows about the Blackstone. Am I just supposed? Am I just supposed to talk, ask around? Or is Sarma Amin the one I need to talk about? About Elezra, bringer of the catastrophe. We came here to track down Elezra. You may not know much about her. Elezra is a witch who caused the fall of the royal family of Medea by abetting the cultists and barbarians in the past. I was like, what is that in the background? It's a black spirit, like, float. 
Um, we can't let Prince Barides, the sole survivor, fall into danger again. The knights will leave Medea soon with the prince. We have to finish Elezra before then. Elezra is the witch who okay. massacred the Medea royal family by instigating cultists and barbarians. Ah, here we go. Yennefer, you're the one everyone is talking about in Altanova. Where did you get that seal? Uh, yes, I've seen it once before with my very own eyes. When the three days of darkness swept across the land, Elezra's monstrous servants carried a seal exactly like that. Eh, good. Is my guy getting bigger? I th doesn't he get a little bit bigger than this? He he he, this is getting interesting now. Why did Maudi Brudar have this? And to have it hidden away so carefully in a cursed box. He he he, that's the seal of the black sun that Elezra's servants had when it attacked Medea. Looks like his soul might actually be darker than mine. Let's go see him. I want to see the look on his face when we show it to him. Okay, I think this is a good spot to call it for today. In the next episode, we will be going back to Maudi Budar. I mean, I'm going to autopath there because it's a little bit of ways away. I'm going to let the let the autopathing take us to Maudi Budar, and we will start it off there in the next episode. Let me know if you guys have any criticisms or anything to say about my combos, if there's anything better I can be doing combo-wise, anything like that. I'm more than happy to hear your guys' opinion on it. I'd love to get feedback um, and thoughts from people who have played this a lot more than me. And so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Sorceress Main uh, playthrough. Peace.